Did you know you could create these mock-ups really, really easy in Canva? Let me show you how. So to create these mock-ups, all you really need is two things. We're going to need to go to Elements, and we're going to scroll down to Frames, and we're going to pick out a square frame. The next thing I want to do is go to my photo or whatever we want to put in here for our magazine, and I am just going to grab an image. We're going to do this puppy. And what I want to do now is I want to kind of size this up to match this the best that I can. So these are the size images I'm going to be using for my magazine layout. So now if I use any images, they all will fit. If I go grab her, I can just plop her in there or plop this one in there, whatever I want to do. So we're going to go back to our bubble puppy because I like bubble puppy. So we got that done. What I want to do now is duplicate this and I want to line it up on the side like so. And then I'm going to take it down to about a quarter or a third of what that frame is. So I'm going to just going to shorten that up like that. And then what I want to do is get my next image that I want to use. So I'm going to go into elements. I'm going to go into recently used and I'm going to use, I did this one because it's just like the way it turned into. So I'm going to put that in that frame right there and then I'm going to adjust it so it'll show what I want it to see. So I'm going to adjust that out and make sure all those pieces are in that frame that I want to see. So it kind of looks like a page of a magazine. So if you use another image, let me show you that real quick too, because that's probably, probably a little bit useful if you're doing two images. So let's say I'll go to my uploads and I want this, I want this on the side. So what you're going to do is you're going to put that in the frame like so. And you're going to double click it because you know it's the edge of that photo. So you're going to drag that photo all the way over like that. So that is the edge. So you see, just like a regular magazine, that would be the edge of that picture. So I'm going to go back to the one with the, the writing on it because I kind of like that one. So the next thing that we want to do once we have this lined up like this is we want to go over to Elements and we want to go to Shadows. So I use this shadow here. It's a free shadow. So you don't have to worry about it. If you're a free user, you're still good. This is just shadows. And it's the De Grande. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, I think it used to, there's, it's under there under black rectangle two. So what I want to do is put one on each side of here. But I don't want that super black right there. You see how it's like taking all of that away. So what I want to do here is I want to crop this. So I'm going to crop it to so where I want to that shadow to come in. So I'm going to take a little bit off of that. So I'm going to crop it in like so until I hit that line. And see, see that little bubble part there? And then I can shrink it up to hit that line. Then what I want to do is I want to flip this. No, I want to duplicate it. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to flip it vertically to the other side. And then what I'm going to do is bring that over and line it up over here. But I'm going to take the transparency down on the other side. So I'm going to lighten that up. And now you have your curl. Now you don't have to have that, that dark either on that side if you don't want to. But you, I just, I want that kind of like shadow there. So the next thing I want to do after that, I want to go and I want to look back into my shadows. And I'm going to look for the little round piece. So I'm going to see all. Now this round one that I use actually is a pro one. But here's one right here for freebie people. So we're going to use the free one. And what I just did here is just take these and kind of put that underneath like so. One there. And I'm going to duplicate that. And one here. And I want to, I don't want it too much on the top. I just want it barely showing at the top. And I'm going to go to my positions tab and I'm going to put them behind just like so. And that just gives that little bit of air. Now you can go ahead if you want to and put shadows around that. That's what I did earlier. So I'm going to go back into my shadows and let's see, what is the shadows that I used previously with this? I think I used... You can pick whatever shadows that you want to kind of like make it pop out. So I'm going to use a pro one right here for this. We're going to try this shadow right here. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of shadows underneath it here. On here. I'm going to duplicate that. Put a little one on the top. 
because you know they won't let us use shadows on frames which sucks another thing you can do is you can uh, download this bring it back in and then use the edit and the shadows feature if you want to instead of doing it this way and then then just put your little circle ones right there to kind of buff uh, bump it out a little bit. So I'm just going to put these. Let me see if I can get this. In. Come on, baby. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. And I'm going to put that there. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Like so. And I'm just going to and I'm gonna pull it in. And for people that wanted to know what shadow that was. I think this one is a pro one. No, we'll use this one. This one is a circular blur shadow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make move these to the back. So I'm going to just move these all behind the photo. So in front of your photos, you should only have two, and this is the two on top of here. So once you're done, that's that's your whole thing, and you can like group it. Make sure highlight everything, group it together, and now you can move it all over the place wherever you want to put it. Now, if you want to use this like as a mock-up and change it out. The first thing you want to do is ungroup. We can go over here to my uploads. And let's say I am going to do fashion girl here. So you want to change this out, but you got shadows in front of it. So the best thing to do here is take this one, move it to the top, go back over to your uploads, grab whatever you're going to upload in there. Say I'm going to upload this. I'm going to take that. I'm going to move it over. I'm going to push done. Go back into position. Go here. Now your next one's done. See? That's easy. And you can just change them out all day long. Just remember. And then you go back and group it together. And then you got another one. So easy to switch out. You just got to remember. Ungroup. Move that little piece to the top. And change this piece out. And then put it right back in front of your photo and then you're good to go and you can use it over and over and over again now if you want to do it on the other side just do your little bar on the other side you can ungroup and all you're going to do is change the shadow for over here take these hold on let's see if i can grab them easy grab this right here it's going to grab that one at the top but that's okay we're going to go over here Put it on this side and then what you want to do is move this shadow on this side let me even this up a little bit oh it's not not together anymore uh oh let me see if i can grab it all together again grab it all together put it in here and the other what you want to do when you do that is switch those shadows over and then i'm going to flip that one and put that one on this side here I want to go in a position. Where's the other one? Grab this one and flip this around to the other side. On this side, it's hard because I'm using white, a white, white image right there. So it's it's a little tricky for me at the moment. But that's all I want to do. And I can bump that over, and there we go. And I'm bump the bump. If you don't know what bump is, bump is I am just moving using my arrow keys to slightly move stuff over. And there you go, you got it on the other side. So it's just that easy to kind of flip it, flip it around and move it over to the other side. Like so. And there you go, you have it on the other side if that's what to, if you prefer to have it on the other side. Same thing, if you want to change it out, always just move that one to the front. One of your elements, your uploads, change it out for, for, um, oh puppy. Now you're going to change it, go this away with it because it's the other side, right? So we're going to be done. And then we're going to go into position and then we're going to bring it down. And there you go. There's your curl on the other side. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, done and done. So now if you want to just do the edge of a book. So let's go, we're going to take these and move these over here. And we'll do it on this side. So what I did for edge, edge of a book same kind of deal you're going to just take this here let's do a new page oh let's hide this stuff hide element time and thank you all right let's take girlfriend over here 
So what I'm going to do with her now is I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to bring it over. Now you can use a square if you want to, but you already got a frame, so we're just going to do that. We're going to make this super, super. So you're going to line it up like so. And then I'm going to just go in here and I'm going to color pick a color out of my image. Oh no, 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 no. I want that here. Click this, pick the color. Come on, baby, pick the color. I'm going to color pick, try to get one of these peachy colors. And that's how you're going to do that. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to kind of, you can either gradient that if you want to, and just do this like in a softer black. And then all you're going to do, I'm going to bump that over just a smidge. So it's butt butted up against there. And then you're just going to get your text and put it in wherever you want to. And like that's going to be itty, itty bitty teeny teeny on that edge. But you're just going to put your text on there. And just like the other ones, you're just going to sit there and um, you can add your own shadows. For this, I probably would download this re-upload it into Canva, remove the background, and then have uh, used the uh, edit shadows feature. So I'm going to do that real quick. So we'll do that. Download. PNG. Current page. Done. Download. I'm going to get this and make this small like so. And then I'm going to bring that other one back in. It's uploading. All right, I'm going to remove the background. And now I'm just going to go and edit shadows, put a drop on it, and then you can do that that way. And then I'll take out all this space, make it bigger, and then you have your you have your book. Now, if you want to do this and make that, see once you get bigger. You have that edge on there. If you want to, you can take that gradient and kind of go a little bit deeper with it if you want to. So it's, you can go and double that up. So to make that a little bit deeper and what you want to do is kind of make that middle one a little bit transparent. So it's kind of flowing in there. But you can play with your gradients with that. Or if you want to, you can also use a shadow box so let's say we'll do this in a in a regular color um let's just do it in that color and then you can go ahead and go into elements and grab this you're going to have to trim it majorly for this if you're using that rectangle we used earlier since that is so small so and then we're just going to go into crop crop it down crop it down Crop it down. And there you go. And then you can use that that away. And just give that little bit of a shadow right there. But that's just an easy way to make like a faux binder kind of thing. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I hope it helped you. Hopefully I didn't confuse you. I know I got a little bumbly with this but if you know me i am bumbly and i thank you guys for stopping by i love you if you have any questions let me know in the comments or if you're on my facebook head on over there again thank you i love you guys and i hope to see you on the next one bye y'all